Uh, hi, I'll walk you through the process of configuring Outlook. Um, in this video, we're using Outlook uh, 2019. All of the previous versions are pretty similar, so the, the steps would be essentially the same. So you would start by going to File, and then you'll see an option here to add an account. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And then you would enter in the email address that you're looking to set up. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this as an example. And uh, you would wanna select the option that says advanced options, and then select the option that says, let me set up my account manually. So go ahead and select that. So first step is to enter in your email address and then uh, select that checkbox, click connect. Then it takes a few seconds here to get everything ready. And uh, we would suggest that you use um, POP. And the reason for that is the POP uh, configuration will keep mail on the server for a short period of time. Typically that's 30 days. You can adjust that date uh, a little bit. Um, the other option is IMAP. We do not suggest that you use this option because you um, will eventually run into issues with email storage um, and, and really POP um, will allow you to keep mail on the server for a certain amount of time before it removes it. And that way you just won't run into any storage issues. So I'm gonna go ahead and select POP here. And then uh, for incoming mail server, you'll notice that the that Outlook auto-populated these fields, um, but this is not what we wanna use. For your incoming mail server, what you would wanna do is just reach out to our support team and then ask for your mail server, and we would provide you with your incoming and your outgoing mail server. So in this case, um, I'm gonna use the mail server that this domain is set up on and that's one dom com. The port number is 110, so you wanna just keep that as is. Um, and then you do wanna modify the outgoing mail server and you wanna um, make sure that that's the same as the incoming. So one dom com. And then the port number um, is 587, so you wanna keep that as is. Um, Sometimes this will show up as port 25. You don't want to use port 25. You want to use 587. Okay, so, um, and then as far as the encryption, what you want to do is um, start TLS. That's, that's great. And then uh, you would just select this option here. And then you're ready to go on, go on to the next step. So I'll go ahead and click on that. And then you would enter in the password for the email address that you're setting up and then click connect. And then it takes a few minutes for it to connect to the server. You'll notice that it's that the account setup is finished. We'll go ahead and uncheck this here and then we'll click OK. And now the account's uh, configured and it should start bringing in mail. Um, there's a couple settings that I would like to show you if you go to file and then you go to account settings. We're just going to make a quick modification on this new account. Um, we're going to click on the email and then click change. And then you'll notice a, a setting here that says more settings. And there's uh, an option here under advanced. Um, where it tells you, tells the server how long it should keep mail on the server. What we would suggest is just moving this to 30 days from 14 days. Um, you can increase that or decrease that if you'd like. And then you would just click OK, click Next. And then it does a quick check here. And you'll notice that those um, both completed successfully. So you'd go ahead and click uh, Close and then finish. And uh, that's really all there is to it. Um, now, it would just take a few minutes for your mail to come in. If you, this is a brand new account, you know, obviously you're gonna have to send a few test messages to it. 
Um, but the configuration at this point is complete. Thanks again.